What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new retro review. Today we're going to be revisiting the original Predator that came out in 1987. And of course this is leading up to the brand new Shane Black film, The Predator. I haven't done any retro reviews in a while, but I wanted to start doing them for The Predator. So with this, we're calling this kind of like instead of the journey to Infinity War, we're calling this the journey to The Predator. We have Predator 1987, Predator 2, Predators with Adrian Brody, and then it will top it off with the new Predator. Now, of course, you guys are probably wondering, where's the Alien vs. Predator? I don't really want to talk about those. I could care less to revisit those. They are not good, but they will be included in the ranking when I do rank them all after seeing the new Shane Black one. But of course, guys, comment down below and tell me what you guys' thoughts are on the original Predator, 1987 Predator. I had a blast rewatching this film, and I'm so excited to talk about it. Just a small detail, I might be doing some spoilers throughout this movie, so if you haven't checked out the Predator and you want to, go check it out. Come back, watch this review. But guys, let's get into The Predator 1987. I have a really soft spot for this film. This is one of the first rated R films I ever saw growing up. My dad and me have very fond memories of watching this, constantly re-watching this movie, and just totally having a blast with it. I Arnold is like one of my all-time favorite like action stars, because even as a kid, Terminator, this, and just going all over all of his filmography, these are two of the mo most main films that I ever watched as a kid, and The Predator is not of those extensions. I mean, my dad showed me this at a very young age, and I was so into the film that it's always been engraved into my head that I've always been more of a Predator fan than the Alien fan. And just this is kind of like one of my first like things going into movies, learning about facts about the movies, learning that Shane Black is actually in this movie, and now he's writing and directing the new one, which I just think is cool. And they had him on set for this one because he constantly had to keep changing the script, so they were like, oh, we'll just put him in as an actor. And I think that's so cool. And then... Just all these other small little details of like why they made the film. Like the reason they made it is because of Rocky IV and the fact that they were like, well, if Rocky had to fight someone, it has to be an alien. And just cool little details like that that like my dad shared with me and my friends shared with me when we talk about this movie. And I think one of my favorite things is that the blood is like supposed to be like this Mountain Dew type thing, which I mean, I don't drink Mountain Dew, it looks gross, but. I could imagine it being like a little alien blood. Maybe that's actually what Mountain Dew is. It's actually Predator. Like, Predators are real. I was curious to see how this film would work. I haven't watched this film in quite a few years, but I just picked up the 4Ks, which, let me tell you this, the 4K, it looks amazing. Like, it looks amazing. Last time I watched this was on the Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray was not the best quality. It was pretty bad. The 4K does something where it just enhances the screen. I mean, that's what 4K is supposed to do, but it really enhanced everything in the screen. The look, the feel. This movie looked like it had come out yesterday, besides the special effects, which we'll get into. But, I, I mean, this film is so... It's one of the most highly acclaimed action films for a reason. It has the one-liners, it has the high-octane action, it has the thrilling moments, and it has a really good score to it that just adds the intensity. It has big muscle-bound guys who are all washed up and all a badass. I mean, you look at Carl, Carl Weathers in here, and the guy's like, boom, bam, boom, cha-chan. Of course, Arnold is the big old man, the big Arnold man. I just love that. I love it. Like, it's this is just... Total like it's like you grabbed a bunch of your action figures went in the jungle and just played around with them And that's what this film feels like it, it has all those action beats from the 80s that you want again The 4k's really do show that this film holds up in at least its looks the special effects though for the predator is the one thing that caught me off guard because I forgot that they do not hold up They're still fun to see and some of the effects do still hold up with them But the one of the camouflaging not the best it, it kind of looks like Bigfoot in camouflage suit just like jumping from the trees and stuff and it, it's a little weird But I, I'm not gonna like totally go against it because the film did come out in the 80s 1987 and it's still enjoyable It's still fun. It doesn't it's not like a huge glaring issue You got to remember that this film is older, but it still looks good for today It's just that's not something that we'd see today and especially how the film is filmed in general Like all the action sequences are very much different But that's what you go to see these films because the, the it's sad that some of the action in this film is filmed better than a lot of the action it is today. Some of it's wide shots, some of it's up close shots. And of course, this isn't like a fisticuffs thing, even though Arnold does literally go hand to hand combat with the Predator by the end of the film, which. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. It, I like it. That's something I've always liked is the one liners in here. I, I mean, Arnold has so many memorable one liners. Like, I. You could literally write a book with all the one-liners the guy has in here. And one of my favorite ones is always when he goes, If it bleeds, we can kill it. Love that. Love that line. And then, get to the chopper. I mean, those are two of the most, like, iconic lines from Arnold's filmography. 
and it, it just comes from this one movie. Even like all the supporting cast, of course, like all the crewmates have something to them. Yeah, they're not like, they're just simple characterizations. I mean, even Arnold is, you don't really care to inhibit any of these characters. You don't understand any of their background history, really, just besides that they're a bunch of commandos in a jungle on a rescue mission, and it goes wrong with something hunting them down one by one. And that is a very intriguing concept. You know, like it is a really cool concept to hear that. And just they put this imposing force, which the Predator in the makeup, in the suit, looks awesome. Like, I love the special effects, the puppetry that they have on the mask, especially when he pops it off and you actually see the face. It looks awesome. And just everything that the Predator looks like, it looks like it's a real real thing. And that's something that I was curious to see is, again, how does that hold up? Yeah, the special effects are okay, but how does that hold up? And it just does. There's a couple great moments in here where the Predator and Arnold are going at it, and he's shooting his rockets into the, the tree lines, and it just makes some, some great cinematography shots right there. And that's not something I expect from a 1980s action film. But Predator brings that, and Predator is still one of the most iconic action films. This film's great. It carries some great, awesome one-liners in here arnold gives just a badass performance you got an awesome villain in the predator and just insane that this film still holds up today yeah the cgi whatever the score is great it fits the tone of this film the action is high octane it's thrilling it gets you on the edge of your seat and it's bloody it's gory and it's intense it's one of those things that you gotta see if you've never checked out the predator you have to check it out so with all that said i'm gonna give the predator an a minus I'm curious your guys' thoughts on The Predator, though, so make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are on the 1987 version. Tell me, are you guys excited for the new one? Are you excited not? What's your favorite Predator film? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Here, curious to hear your guys' thoughts. But of course, guys, if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, because right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie screens like The Predator. We're doing giveaways for that. Also, check out some movie news and also some movie reviews. Guys, before I get to the chopper, make sure to stay classy and have a great rest of your day.